Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and do a really brief update um, regarding Brave New World, as well as to explain and, and feature uh, or showcase a mod called Quinn's Redefined FNV Redesign 3. And then I also wanted to explain a little bit about the differences between New Vegas Redesign 2 and New Vegas Redesign 3. So uh, let's start with the beginning here. Um, if you have New Vegas Redesign 3, I would strongly recommend a mod Quinn's Redefined FNV Redesign 3. So what he does. He fixes all the programming in this game. So several hundred ITMs, you know, the identical rec um, to master records, they've been removed. Deleted references are undeleted and disabled. Um, thousands of settings of the can be all races flag, it's been removed. Um, thousands of wild edits and incorrect settings have been purged from um, th the three main plugins for New Vegas Redesign 3. Also, in tandem, um, it used to be where you would install Fallout Character Overhaul, and then, you know, you'd have to disable that, and then you'd have to use New Vegas Redesign 3. Now... Um, you can now you can get the New Vegas Redesign three changes to the NPCs, but also you can change your own race, right? So that's a feature he also has added as well. Um, so that's I would again I would strongly recommend uh, getting this mod if you have New Vegas Redesign three. I also wanted to explain and elaborate regarding Brave New World and to go from there. So um, people have asked, and it's partly my fault, so I'll, I'll elaborate in more detail. Um, in with um, Brave New World, when what's going to happen is when you look under mods, it's going to be a new mod. So it'll be it'll, it'll be under new mods this week and um, someday in the future. And um, what'll happen is that's Brave New World by itself is a voice acting fix mod. So you click the button and you install it, and it basically improves and fixes all the voice acting in the game. And it's not going to have any character designs. It's just going to be a voice acting fix mod. But what I want people to understand is that. In New Vegas Redesign 2 and in New Vegas Redesign 3, you're going to look under Files and you're going to see, like when you click here and you click under Files, under New Vegas Redesign 2, you're going to get new, um, there'll be a file here and it'll be compatibility with Brave New World. And under New Vegas Redesign 3, under Optional Files, most likely, it'll be a file where it'll be compatible with Brave New World. So... That brings me to my next topic here, and this is valuable for anybody who wants to know the difference between New Vegas Redesign 2 and New Vegas Redesign 3, okay? So, I'm going to make it uh, work with Brave New World in the style of New Vegas Redesign 2 on, on this section, okay? So, let's, let's, let's talk about the different styles, okay? So, New Vegas Redesign 2 is, for the most part, I stick with the original designs, but I actually, uh, I mean, I, I use the normal Gek engine, and I make um, the designs and try to make them as realistic as I can. So as you can see here, this is a change to head scribe Taggart. And you'll see here the face is completely re redone from scratch. This is not um, a situation where I just made the eyebrow dark or anything like that. It actually is a complete reconstruction of the face. Because you can't really fix this with just moving things around. You actually have to make reconstructions, right? This is a reconstruction of the Van, G Van Graaff thug in New Vegas redesign too. As you can see, even though it's done in the Gek engine, this is not a like a small tweak. It's an actual like su substantial change to the face. And this is again the change in New Vegas this is how she looked like, Sammy Weathers, and now she looks more like this. This is how the original uh, character looked like one of the street vendors. She had a very old and coarse voice and then we just kind of made it a little bit older, right? So, this is kind of what's going on with New Vegas redesign 2. Now, what I want to make very clear is um, New Vegas Redesign 2, It um, all of it's done in the Gek engine. And I will do that for Brave New World. So what will happen for, is for New Vegas Redesign 2, you're going to get a module here. It'll work with Brave New World. Okay. Now, let's talk about Brave uh, New Vegas Redesign 3. And um, the changes here are very, um, they're very, I would say, um, more controversial. Um, there's no, with New Vegas Redesign 3, what I've noticed you either love it or you hate it. There's no gray area because it's uh, the changes are quite polar. So in New Vegas Redesigned 3, what I've done is actually, if a character is dead or it's injured or anything like that, they actually look that way. And if in the lore of the game, it says they're supposed to look a certain way, I've done it, made them kind of look the way they're supposed to look, right? So let's go over some examples here, right? So um, this this gentleman here, he is actually, he's, he's he was shot and gunned down. So in the original game, he looks like this, but in my mod, you actually can see like he's bleeding, he's, there's blood over there, he's shot in the head, right? Um, if you look here, boxcars, it says that he was actually beaten, to, like he was beaten. Um, and so here, he's actually, um, he's bleeding here. 
and there's injuries. Now, people have mentioned, some people have mentioned, oh, but he was only beaten on his legs. But you know what? I did that. But what happens is, in terms of, like, the textures, it looks it looks bad because the, the legs are all red, but his body is just, like, completely okay. So it actually looked more natural for me to actually include the wounds all across his whole body. Um, here is, like, a change to one of the boomers. So in the boomers, the original character design looks like this, right? Where And she's dead, and it says that she was killed by giant ants. Now... There's actually blood. There's it looks like her skin was torn. There's blood on her helmet. She actually looks like, well, more dead, <laughs> right? Um, this is a change to um, one of the one of the persons one of the people you see in um, one of the hotels. Like you go in there and you know he's been dead for a while. But if you look in the original game, he looks more like this. But in mine, it's I made his skin look like he was poisoned because he was obviously killed by rad scorpions. Um, but as you can see, these changes are very much more drastic, right? Um, and you'll notice, like, the the the, uh, the NCR soldiers, they're injured and they're hurt, and they look like this, like, perfectly fine, but now you can see, like, this person was cut with a machete, this person was blasted in the leg, this person was done by explosion, things like that, right? So, um, or here, Halford, he mentions that his leg is injured, you know, here now his legs actually looks torn up, his face is bleeding, and things like that, so... Um, so what I want to mention is with with um, New Vegas Redesign 3, um, there will be in the compatibility with other mods, you'll see um, one that will work with Brave New World. And this is going to be more in the Fallout New Vegas Redesign 3 style, right? New Vegas Redesign 2 is with Gek Engine only. New Vegas Redesign 3, um, I'm still... It's, I'm still debating on this, whether to remove FCO completely, and I think I might, or try to work with it. But in general, this is definitely going to be much more advanced in the, how the d designs are done. Um, so, in, so let me go over some things here. Um, let me see here. What I wanted to there was something I'm trying to, I was trying to explain. Oh, here's another thing I want to explain too, right? And kind of a one co bit of context where I kind of uh, want to talk about something. So, for example, when you type in on Google, right, and you look in like, okay, what are the best uh, mods to get for Fallout New Vegas, things like that. Um, what what you'll find is no one ever mentions character face mods, right? In general, they don't want to say anything. And if they do, it's always up for scrutiny. But what I disagree with is you'll meet a lot of people and they'll just say, like, I love the original designs. And I'm I'm not in that camp because I actually think the original designs are actually quite terrible. Because if you look here, this is pretty Sarah, right? No burned victims actually look like this. They actually would look more like this. And there's mods out there. Uh, I'm not going to name anything, but there's mods that just only change small things, like moves the eyebrow up or changing it. But you can't fix this with just minor fixes. Like you actually have to literally reconstruct a face correctly, right, to make it look more realistic. At least that's just my two cents, right? Something like this. You know, people are like, "Oh, well, I like the original design. Well, this guy was just in a camp, almost like almost gunned down, and he was like in a fight, and he is running and asking for your help, and he looks perfectly okay." Um, no eyebrow making it darker or lighter is not going is going to change this face. You have to literally add things to make it look more real, you know? Same here. Like, you know, you could make the eyebrow go up and down, but that's not going to change a shitty design. This is not a good design. You know, it's this is... She looks more dead than she does. You know what I mean? Or, you know, this guy right here, like, yeah, you can move the eyebrow up here and there or make it lighter, but eh, he's dead. Like, you know, this looks more dead in my opinion, right? So this is really what New Vegas Redesign 3 does. Um, and I hope that clarifies things, and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay.